So today I want to show how to crochet this water bottle holder. It's a very quick whip up. It takes no time to do at all. We begin at the bottom uh, working in circles down here. And then this part takes no time at all. The whole project itself takes no longer than one hour to do. So you can quickly whip it up if you want to go to the beach this summer. I will show you the whole process from the beginning to the end with also how to do this strap. So let's begin. First a little about the materials for the yarn. I've used this 100% cotton in a sport weight too. I am putting it double so you can also use a DK weight instead if you don't want to put it double. Then I've used a 4mm hook, some scissors and a tapestry needle. So I'm using this very thin sport weight 2 yarn and I want this to be a quick little project so I'm doubling up this yarn. So I will take the end from the inside of the skein and then I will find the end from the outside and put them together and then we can use one skein to double up the yarn. So find the two ends like this and then we can begin crocheting. First we make a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn, take the long end of the yarn behind the loop, wrap it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we chain four, so yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, four times. Then we have four chains. We will now do a double crochet in this first chain we did. So yarn over, insert the hook in the first chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, two. Then we will make another double crochet in this little circle down here. So just yarn over and insert the hook in the same stitch again and do a double crochet. Just like this. And we will do 10 double crochet in total in this ring. These chains from the beginning, this, chains, uh, this counts as the first double crochet. So we now did three in total, so one, two, three, and we will do 10 double crochet in total in this stitch. So that's four. Just yarn over and insert the hook in this ring and keep doubling, double crocheting until you have 10 in total. When we have 10, we will now do a slip stitch in this first stitch we did. So just insert the hook in the first stitch over here. That is actually the third chain we did. And sometimes it is a bit hard getting into this stitch. But once you get in, just yarn over, pull through to slip stitch. And this is a bit tough for me. That's it and then pull through the other one as well. So now we have 10 double crochet in this round. We will now move on to the second round and we will begin with a chain three. So just one, two, three. And this counts as the first double crochet. We will now do two double crochet in every stitch. So this double crochet counts as the first double crochet in this stitch over here which will be the last stitch. So we already did the first of the two double crochets belonging to this stitch down here. So we will now do two double crochet in the next stitch. So just yarn over, insert the hook and double crochet. And then yarn over again and insert the hook in the same stitch and double crochet. So that's two double crochet in the same stitch. In this next stitch, you also do two double crochet in the same stitch. That's one. Then yarn over and insert the hook in the same stitch and double crochet. Continue all the way around with two double crochet in every stitch. Then when you're all the way around, you will slip stitch in the third chain up here. So just insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, 
pull through to finish the round. Now you can measure your bottle. If your bottle is this small, you can just skip the next step. But my bottle needs another round, so I will continue with one other round. So I will chain three. And then I will do two double crochet in the next stitch. Then in the next stitch, I will only double crochet one. Just one double crochet in the next stitch. And then two double crochet in the next stitch. One. Two. And then just one single crochet, uh, double crochet, did I say single crochet? I meant double crochet. So one double crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet, all the way around. So after this round, I measure with my bottle and this fits the bottom of my bottle perfectly. So now we'll, I will stop increasing. If your bottle is bigger, I will recommend that you do another round, but this fits my bottle so I will finish this round with a slip stitch and then I will do one more round without increasing just one double crochet in every stitch so I begin the same way I chain three and then I do one double crochet in the next stitch then one double crochet in the next and then I just continue with one double crochet in every stitch all the way around. So no increases. We are actually just working up the body of the bottle right now. So just one double crochet in every stitch. At the end of this round, we will now join with a slip stitch. And then we will chain five to begin the next round. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we skip the next two stitches on the bottom. So one, two, and then in this third stitch over here, we will do a double crochet. So yarn over, double crochet in the third stitch from the hook. And then chain two, one, two then skip the next two stitches move on to the third stitch and double crochet so yarn over insert the hook in the third stitch from the hook and double crochet into this then chain two one two skip the next two stitches move on to the third and double crochet continue like this all the way around and then when we make it all the way around, we have this little gap in the end. So you just chain two, one, two, and then you will do the double crochet into this gap as it, if it was a stitch. So you just yarn over and insert the hook into this gap and double crochet. Then you chain two, one, two, and then you do a double crochet into this next gap. Just yarn over, insert the hook and double crochet. And then chain two, one, two, insert the hook in the next gap and double crochet. And chain two, double crochet into the next gap. Continue like this all the way around. When you make it around, it looks like this in the end. So you see, it just continues up here. So you will work the next one in this stitch. You just chain two. Then you work the next double crochet into this. Then you chain two. And then you find your next gap up here. Just double crochet into this. And then it, it's pretty easy forward, going forward. I'll just take out my hook because now you'll just continue the same pattern as down here. You'll just chain two, work a double crochet in the next and continue all the way around. When you make it all the way around, you'll just keep working in spirals. So there will be no switching in rows. So just work your way in spirals. 
just repeat this pattern one two chains then double crochet and so on around and around and then you measure it as you go and then you stop when you like the height and when it's fitting to the bottle then you take out this bottle and then you can finish it up and I always finish with a slip stitch in this next um, gap so sorry first chain two then a slip stitch in the next just to get down to the height so it's a bit more even on top and then I will do one round of double crochet on top just like on the bottom so I will chain three on top just like this and then I will work three double crochet in every gap so this one I will this one counts as the first double crochet so I will work another two double crochet in the same gap so just yarn over double crochet and then another double crochet in the same gap that's three double crochet then jump to the next gap work one double crochet another double crochet and a third double crochet in the same gap so you see we are working a row of double crochet just like down here so the next three double crochet in the next and so on until you are all the way back here and then you join with a slip stitch in the first stitch you did of the round so just insert the hook yarn over pull through and pull through we now finish the bottle holder itself and we will now be working on the strap so first we chain two one two then I work a single crochet in the first of these two chains. So in this one, so just work a single crochet into this one. And then you have this little loop down here. You have your single, your, your stitch up here, and then you have this uh, little thread down here. You will insert the hook into this little loop. And then you will single crochet into this. So just yarn over and pull through. It's very important that you keep this very loosely. And then again, you have this little um, loop down here. And this is four strands of yarn because we have it double. So you'll just insert the hook through all four of these little yarn loops. Then do a single crochet. And again, it's important that you keep this very loose. So pull it up a bit. And then you find this little loop down here of four strands again. Insert the hook through all four. And loosely yarn over. Pull through. Pull it up a bit. Yarn over, pull through. Then insert through these four strands of yarn. Loosely yarn over, pull through, pull up a bit and finish your single crochet. And we will just keep doing this until we have our strap long enough. So just keep single crocheting through these four little strands of yarn down here, down here all the time. So you have this a Romanian cord. The name of this is a Romanian cord and this will look beautiful when you're finished. So just keep doing this until you like the length of your strap. I did my strap 120 centimeters long. You can do it longer or shorter, that's up to you. Now I will cut the yarn and then pull through the loop and then find the tapestry needle and thread it and then I will sew this strap on the opposite side of the bottle holder.
down here. So down on the edge of the bottle holder. So just fasten this very good. So just do a lot of stitches because this has to hold a lot of water. So just sew this very good. And then when it's securely fastened, you can put in your bottle and you have your bottle holder ready to go. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.